Ahoy, fellas! What's that? You wish I had more interesting things to say? Well, you know what? Put it in the comment section below. Give me something to talk about. Today I will be talking about the uh, Hanna-Barbera cartoon series Wacky Races. That's right. I watched that as a child. Um, and I don't know if that really puts any kind of dating on me. Probably not. Um, but that's fun and interesting, isn't it? So, if you don't know what uh, Wacky Races is, you're really missing out. That's all I can say. Um, how the heck do I get there? Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's honestly all I can say. It has been a, a long time, not since I thought about Wacky Races, because I think about Wacky Races a lot, but since I actually like watched Wacky Races, right? And... Um, it's kind of an odd amount of distance to have, not to have, but just to, like, to have and still care about something, I guess. Now, that might just be purely in proximity to Hanna Barbera and the, 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 uh, not the products, but just the, the general, I, w I would say greater universe and then say that Greater Universe didn't fit. But Greater Universe is actually a very fitting term now that, like, Scoob came out. And there is actually what seemed like a bit of a plan to have a greater Hanna-Barbera universe. Cinematic universe. That Hanna-Barbera cinematic universe. I'm so hyped. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, no. So... For one, just so I can say something in-game, I'm probably going uh, over here this episode, right? And But back to Wacky Races. Wacky Races, god. It wasn't even on, well, it was on. I don't know if it was always on Boomerang, or if it was just a TV show from the 70s that was only on Boomerang after I started watching television in the early 2000s. You know, because that's also a possibility that I just wasn't old enough to actually, I don't know, be cognizant of, wacky, of anything to original run of Wacky Races. That's really possible. Okay, so it looks like that's not a way in, which sucks. How the heck do I get there then? I guess it might be over there. Um. So. That is interesting, though. That, um. I feel like Wacky Races is probably the kind of thing that a lot of people. I would hope that a lot of people. Maybe it really isn't all that much people. Had some knowledge of and enjoyment from at some point in time, but then it kind of teetered off and it became just generally ambiguous. Like, every, everybody knows about Scooby-Doo, but that's because Scooby-Doo has existed across generations in many different forms. Um, and really, Wacky Races only existed in the 70s and then, again, like early 2000s on Boomerang. Why is Kickback here? I never meant to hurt anyone. Yeah, right. Perhaps the Islanders will forgive me. Yeah, I guess. So, uh, what? You do? That's terrific, Yoku. I can't wait to get back out there with you. Come on, there's a lot of work to do if we're gonna undo the grief I've caused, people. Oh, great. Now we have kickback again. That's wonderful. He definitely did all that... Definitely did so much to help me during the run, huh? Um... But anyways... It's... I like Wacky Races. I probably would legitimately watch the old cartoon if I... It, it's not even if I had time thing. I really do have time. It's... When I, when I run out of shows, I'll probably watch get through the original run of Wacky Races. Because I've been like... I made like drawings of Wacky Races characters recently. I've, I've freaking... Um... God. What else? Like, every time, uh, I, I wasn't smart enough to actually write down which song it was or look it up beforehand. 
but every time a specific song comes on, I think of not the actual Wacky Races open. Do Wacky Races even have an opening? How the heck do I get through there? It looks like the kind of thing you would be able to get through, but I guess not. There really is not much indication of how to get anywhere from there, but there has to be some kind of entrance. Hmm? God, anyways. So, I think it's, it's probably called like... I, I don't know what the song is called, but every time I think, every time I hear it, I think of, um, like, New Age anime opening, except it's Wacky Races. Which I really do think would be really cool, and if I had a, a means of animating it, and any animating ability, I might actually do it. Which is an interesting thought, because I know how much of a hassle animation is. Uh, wouldn't it be cool if I could fall through platforms or something? I really do wonder about this. Hmm. But... Yeah, I'm no good at that. And even if I was, I don't have, like, a tablet or anything. But I have been drawing pictures now. I drew one of, uh... Luke and, and uh, Blubber Bear just because I could. Um, I figured out that if you have uh, the notes on an iPhone uh, like good enough with my thumb that I didn't literally hate what I drew. And I mean I, I honestly I have a sketchbook and but that was like seventh grade art sketchbook. Um, I could use it, but then I wouldn't be using... What would I be using? How the heck do I get across that gap? That's the real question. God, I remember when I thought it was something simple like that, yeah? The idea is that I might be able to swing from the vine, but I can't. That isn't actually the case. It's interesting. Watch. I'll do that, alright? And then I'll reverse. Do this. And it doesn't actually let me swing from it. So, I think it's just gonna be another westward kind of episode. Mm. By westward, I mean I might. Wouldn't it be cool if I could have a. Oh! Hey, that's something we did yesterday. I guess we're gonna go talk to um, um Baba, and I'm gonna keep talking about wacky races, by the way. But I honestly, I don't, I don't, I don't really have much on the lines of like praise for the show because I don't remember it. Um, I really wish I did. I remember of it, which is probably the most interesting thing in that, like. It left some kind of impact on me about as much as any really late night boomerang TV cartoon. Like the kind of impact that Duck Dodgers in the 29th, the 24th and one half century did. Just because it was the kind of thing that when I was at my grandparents' house staying the night, sleeping on their couch bed, I would stay up and watch just because I wanted to not sleep. Because that's the kind of child I was. <laughs> and my parent, my grandparents lived really nearby. So... But, at the same time, at least in my generation, if you didn't have, like, a subscription to Boomerang, you probably just didn't know about it. Anyways. Broken artifact? Let me see, huh? Wow. Oh, you're gonna fix it. Nice. There you go. Now don't go breaking it again. Wow, thanks, dude. You're pretty cool. Wow, that's nice. Alright, so... I guess we're gonna... Dear God, that's a pretty long ways down. Sheesh. Now, if I'm not mistaken... 
Um, there's not too much benefit to doing that, I don't think. Um, 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 there's a lot of clouds in a lot of places, and I'm not sure how many of those places I'm supposed to be able to access. That's really what it comes down to. Because some of these places look like places I'm not supposed to be able to access to begin with. But I just don't know. You know what I really want to try and do? I want to try and get some of these wickerlings around here. But, um, not too sure how well that would actually work. For now, let's throw ourselves off a cliff. Yep. I sure did a great throw right there. Huh. But yes, very cool. Um, and I honestly, the characters, the characters in Wacky Races were pretty good. In uh, about as much as like characters you're not supposed to care about too heavily could be. Because it, 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 it's not like you were ever really rooting for one specific... Well, I guess you could be. You'd be rooting for one specific character, but, like... The, the, the one through line of the show is that Dick Dastardly was a villain you didn't want to win. And he never won, so that was nice. But... <laughs> that was kind of it. It's just wacky races, you know? Um, and that... I don't know. I like that. <laughs> so I, I think about it a lot. About how you can kind of make something of that. I don't know why you would make something of it. Well, I know exactly why you would make something of it, just for the hell of it, you know. Um, God. It was actually one of the... Hey, the egg is hatched! Wow! The birth of the tiny critter has set me a bloom once more. Please, Beetle, accept this. Wow, that's a lot of fruit! And a bobble! Right? It's a bobble? It's... it's sprinkles, actually. It looks morbid. Eesh. It's wacky. Yeah, if I add it to my dung ball right now, it'll become a hemorrhoid ball. That's no good. Did I really never come over here? Oh, hey! It's Kickback! Do I want to talk to him? I don't know. I was still talking about wacky races. But yeah. Y you know what? I'm going to leave it at that. Because I, I, if I keep going, I'm just going to end up saying that I talk about... I think about wacky races a lot. Like, a lot more times. So, yeah. I think about wacky races a lot. I drew a picture of Lazy Luke standing in front of uh, a big silhouette of Blubber Bear. Um, I thought minutely about uh, doing some kind of wacky anime intro with like re revamped uh, character designs and car designs and crap um, and uh, DC Comics did Wacky Raceland which was an, uh, a, a zombie rethinking of Wacky Races which was a good run very interesting and Dick Dastardly wasn't just a terrible person <laughs> anyways I'm gonna leave it there also Actually, I didn't know this until just recently, but apparently 2018-2019 was Wacky Races uh, reboot that nobody knew about. And I gotta say, it's got a, it's some like weird testament to Wacky Races that it was good enough and beloved enough that it warranted a reboot, but not so big that anybody actually knew it got a reboot, and then the reboot was terrible anyways, so didn't last very long, something like that. Anyways, reboots last forever anyways now. Doesn't matter how terrible they are. <laughs> I'll leave it there, though, for now. Till next time, like, comment, and subscribe, or I'll talk your ear off. Goodbye! Yeah, I hope that one. I thought it was pretty funny.